Now let's consider this question. Okay, if I I ask you the value of sun, okay, the value of sun thirty degrees, and the value of sun hundred fifty degrees. Okay, let's find them out by using special triangles. Sun thirty degrees is the opposite on hypotenuse, which is half. Okay. Sun one hundred fifty degrees is let's use our cost. Say a s t one hundred fifty degrees there. In the, uh, in the second quadrant, so sine of an angle in the second quadrant is positive. As a result, we have sine positive sine, and the angle here between 180 degrees and 150 degrees is 30 degrees. So sine 150 degrees is sine 30 degrees, which is half. Okay. As we noticed in a unit circle okay, so as we noticed both sine thirty degrees and the sine hundred and fifty degrees has the same answer. Okay. They are the same. So now Okay, what can I okay. now consider this problem? Okay. If I tell you sine of an angle alpha is half, okay, and uh, I ask you to find alpha, what we do is Alpha equals to inverse sine half, which equals to thirty degrees and one hundred fifty degrees. Okay, because well, we found it from here. Okay, for now, um, and uh, you have to the. Okay, the idea is you have two answers, thirty and hundred fifty. Okay. So what's happened is when you do a inverse uh, sine or inverse cos or inverse tangent uh, in unicircle, you will uh, you will always find two answer, two answers. Okay. This is very important. A lot of students in year twelve final final exams, uh, they forgot to they forgot to to label two answers okay, uh, for this kind of problem. And uh, it's very so it's a very important thing. You have to remember this is. You always have two answers in a unicircle, and uh, you always have to give two answers. Okay. Now I'm going to show you a way to find uh, to solve this kind of problems by, uh, well, systematic way to uh, to to do this kind of to do this question without uh, without knowing this part. Okay. Okay, just to mention, uh, you have to you have to know your sine formula, which is S O H, okay, C A H, and uh, T O A. Okay. This is your Yeaton stuff. Okay. And uh, for example, 
if I have calls on um, let's say 45 degrees okay and uh, oh, sorry sorry about that if I have cosine of an angle uh, equals to let me say um, maybe okay, 1 on square root 2 okay and I ask you to find alpha in a unicircle that means alpha is belongs to from 0 degrees to 360 degrees okay. and uh, the first step to do this kind of question is to uh, sorry, uh, is to try to lab label your uh, your answers on, a, well, on, on the unicircle this is the first step we do this kind of question label your answer on unicircle say a st okay so we have cosine of an angle equals to a positive value so uh, look at your unicircle your answer would be in the first quadrant let's label it alpha 1 your first answer and because sine tangent and uh, cosine of any angle between 0 degrees to 90 degrees is positive okay so you must have an answer there and uh, in the in the second group quadrant only sine of an angle only sine is positive so so well you won't have you won't find your answer in the second quadrant also in the third quadrant only tangent is positive so you won't find your answer in the third quadrant okay simply yeah, cause of your angle will have a positive number so the fourth quadrant cosine is positive and uh, we will, you will have an uh, angle there which I label it alpha 2 okay. now what you can do is to use um, cosine alpha equals to 1 on square root 2 and uh, cosine uh, sorry alpha equals to cosine inverse 1 on square root 2 okay and uh, cosine is basically adjacent on hypotenuse so we go to our special triangles the hypotenuse is here and uh, oh sorry this we go to here because uh, yeah the hypotenuse is square root 2 and uh, the adjacent is 1 so the angle should be this one okay so the angle is 45 degrees from our special triangle now our the alpha is 45 degrees that's only one of your answer say, say alpha 1 45 degrees okay now we need to find the value of alpha 2 Okay. Uh, what you have to know the angle uh, sorry the angle here okay, bounded between your between alpha 1 and the horizontal line is is the same okay, let's, okay, let me uh, put it this way it's the same as the angle there So, well, the angles that uh, the angles your answer has uh, has with the horizontal line are the same. So th 
those two answers are the same. Uh, sorry, those two angles are the same. Sorry about that. Okay. So, uh, hold on. Those two angles, they are the same. They have the same value. Okay. I'm talking about the angle. The, f the angle there. Okay. And uh, in because alpha 1 is 45 degrees, well, it's pretty easy to know this angle is 45 degrees. And uh, so this angle is, say, 360 degrees. And this angle is uh, in the fourth quadrant, which is between 300, uh, 270 degrees and 360 